December 2021, one of the Gambia's most crucial elections is here. At Kerfatu, we got you covered. Our team of credible and knowledgeable analysts will bring you exclusive analysis of the event step by step and ballot by ballot coverage. They will be joined by repeatable studio guests to help analyze and break down key ballot issues to meet your needs. As candidates battle for the soul of the Gambia, our team of panelists will get you the information you need to make informed choices. Join our coverage, Race for the State House, every Thursday at 6 p.m. You decide, we get you covered. Your voice, your ballot, with Kerfadu. Our motto is, fair play, integrity, and transparency. Our electoral system is second to none in terms of its transparency, credibility, fairness, and transparency. We are pleading to everybody to observe and respect. One Gambia, one nation, one people. All right, thank you very much. Uh, welcome back. Uh, you're still watching Kerfatu, and we are broadcasting live from the Independent Electoral Commission in the Gambia. My name is Buba Gajigo. Of course, um, I am alone for now. I will be joined by my able analyst, of course, um, uh, that is uh, Lamin Cham, who is the editor-in-chief of the Standard Newspaper and the host of the brunch program. But that will be um, later, of course, I will be joining us. And it's a big day uh, for the National People's Party. That is the President's National People's Party. Of course, um, we'll be showing you the huge crowd that the President is coming with today. Um, of course, I'm... Um, uh, at, uh, at the Banjul end, we'll be showing you everything um, here as we did from the first day that was Sunday, Saturday. Of course, I'm, uh, um, of course, I'm on Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, today, of course, and of course, I'm today Thursday. We'll show you everything. Uh, and the president is coming, which is with his entourage, as you know. The president will be will submit his nomination uh, papers today at 11 a.m. 11 um, a.m. to Today, uh, at the Independent Electoral Commission, and then he will face the journalists to answer some questions like just um, uh, other candidates did here. Um, as far as we are uh, concerned, we are going to show you everything. So this is your reliable uh, media house that will show you everything. As you can see, um, there are people uh, already arriving. I can tell you this is a huge crowd from the National People's Party. That is a NPP. And then we have to extend our condolence to the party uh, after, of course, some of their supporters were involved in a car crash that was uh, in uh, uh, Kiang yesterday in the lower river region uh, village of Dumbuto. At least um, reports have it that at least uh, five people have lost their lives. So we are saying, or we are praying that may their souls rest in peace. So that is, it is a big day for the National People's Party. Mbafalaleko, Bilem Lungo Timialonko, National People's Party, Ba Batunka Lung, Ila Lungo Mialonko, Ibe Nominidla, Ba Ba Bundilale Nekol Mialonko, Wonlebe Kelejam B, Ila Molo Kananya, Meng Andu Inanya, Ilina Motol Mialonko, Ini Wole Kana, Pesango Bina Nyadile, Abe Munedun, Abe Tamala Nyadile, Ba Bele. Fintin de la Legion Kerfadu, Cassene and Dale Kolbeke and Yaming, William Lumoti Mialon Koila Molko, Iba Batunkan, Internetol to Yasafe Taring, Rajol to Yafoka Benjum Lungale Batunkanu, and Luyafo Gambia Bay and Nokoe Benjumul Lungale Timialonko, Iba Batunkanu, Yafoleko Nimul Lungal Timialonko, Abakala Lunyontangol Kono Le Gambia Banko Kanjang, National People's Party La Molu, Yafole Minkela and PPD, and Lung, Nigita Koe Benjin Tandilale, Aliad Al Nyaya Dele, Kafo Mialon Kolebina, Barimba Betandila Le Konga Kaka. Party of Dolton Yamen, Nafal Yamen Drong, 
kerfatu bijang political party olbe ma finjindi la inim mol miyalan ko inim wolle nata momo sonda fanan kasina platformo de purka je ko niye kaja be finjindi la le inie kaja wodo bi ma be finjindi la le president baro anala national people's party anim mol miyalan ko anim wolle bina kan fulan jango ma finjindi la anin kafo miyalan ko le bina ay mune dum ba fulalen ne al nyaba je la tere do bari ma be fulalen ne bari fanan ba tandi la la le ala dunya ic jang bari anin ic fangola chia mano ibe nyatri na nyola nyamen mbo fanantan di lalale mbare anin kiba talal la kaja aliyalo nako e sa fali ya tumile ko mumol ti miyalon ko ay double pe menole ke driver la miyalon ko ako e sa fali nyanta wolle tala tala dum pour kaje ko ase nati jang wota nyimu ko ti miyalon ko abe kering wota natural be jibero la don al salon ko al be ker fatule jibe kan andum national people's party la lumba miyalon ko e ko e ka wala batudum wo lungale futata nyin tembe na wala wo lungale miyalon ko be wala batun kan dum wala futata Dire lo wane ker fa dungen ne ka di setan <hesitation> mala sen boka bu ba gaji go. <hesitation> temo ne ka besbo ham ne national people's party that is npp sen besbo ham ne nyung koron har wane ko si internet di wane ko si radio yi te wane ko si tele yi ne besla bo ham ne de na ne ka of course sam tari ka si bi reumi <hesitation> sen wo bi la ne ka di bam tu <hesitation> solen ko hamul <hesitation> te yi nen nen won ban crowd len yi si te yi len nen won president bi nyanak nyanak nyan la andal wa nen nen won tamet president bi lal la sol sa na ka la mo do he na ka la mo do ge si ai si premises bi na ka la mo ja ka lo Aisi chia man bi kidi <coughs> alaji momo rin jai nen nen won lol non <coughs> Why do MC lol tamet? Of course, I'm London one. Uh, of course, I'm press co- wala um, question at answer session. Bo ham ne nako ama journalisti. The guy ami sobe yala nen ko nen nen isi fi tamet. Uh, Purnyo hall um, naka len naka di um, nye wala lala nyowa. As I mentioned earlier, I'll be joined by, of course, I'm uh, uh, my able uh, person who will be analyzing here things for me. He's someone who has, of course, some vast knowledge as far as the Gambian politics is concerned. Son. He's the chief editor of the Standard newspaper. He's well. He's a well-known journalist in the country. That is uh, Lamin Cham. He's already um, with me. Good morning, or is it good afternoon now? Uh, oh, it's still morning. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much, uh, uh, Buba, and uh, welcome, of course, to all the multitude of viewers. Uh, let me just say, audience across the globe. Well, mm-hmm. this is day five. Am I right? Yeah. Of the nomination process 2021, and in the house today, of course, like we said, will be the incumbent uh, Adam Abaro, who is seeking for another term. He will file his papers today to the Independent Electoral Commission, Commission yeah. uh, wishing to be nominated to contest the December 4 election. <laughs> Of course, as we have predicted, we expect a massive crowd. crowd yeah. Um, just like we have seen, or maybe the NPP supporters will argue more than. <laughs> it's insane, yes. The BBC, uh, and the United Democrats. And yeah. Faction in Fox, court, courts, yeah. As well as the UDP. UDP, yeah. A couple of days back, uh, President Barrow supporters said they want to marshal 200,000. Well, of course, uh, Uh, as 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 high as that may sound to your ears, yeah. that is what uh, deputy spokesman of the party said they will do. Uh, of course, they have been very busy, but I think we should begin uh, this analysis as with as far is concerned. Oh yes, with uh, a word of uh, condolence. Exactly yes. To NPP supporters we learned, uh, that were involved in the accident. Yeah. The second accident uh, in Chiang West. And they are ready as a nomination. Perhaps this is a very bad news. Yeah, very bad news. Because uh, those people are Gambians, <laughs> and uh, whatever happens to a Gambian, definitely it bleeds and cuts fellow Gambians' heart. Uh, it also underlined the fact that because I also understand the UDP convoy when they were coming from their latest stop the country also was involved in an accident. Accident, yeah. Into in one case it's very critical injuries. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think I remember also the under 20 national team when they returned from qualifying for the African under 20 nations cup um, and the Wafu Cup that they took along. There was a celebration and uh, a gentleman lost his life. Uh, uh, at Bakao, at, at the point, yeah. Now, what this really means that mm-hmm. 
whenever we found ourselves uh, having to run a big convoy, mm -hmm. I think we should learn lessons. That's that's right. To make sure that the message of safety goes around as much as possible. Sure. So. Now the incident that happened perhaps in Tiang is too unfortunate. Very sad. We are very sad about it, and we express our condolences to yeah. to every Gambian friends of mm -hmm. those people. Mm -hmm. Uh, it underlines the fact that on our roads, we will we, we need to ensure that safety regulations are obeyed. Mm -hmm. Road use. They safety. should be. They should be well respected. Yes. yes. You know, and one of the one of the things that happen leads to these accidents is unnecessary speed. Speeding. That's unnecessary. it. I get unnecessary because if you look at the journey, even from Basse to Banjo, mm -hmm. come on. You can do it. Gambia is very small. Very, very short. Yeah. You can do it in a relatively, you know, at a, at a reasonable speed. S speed. And you exactly. can show yourself, wow. Mm -hmm. But unnecessary speed, uh, definitely we should avoid all that. Right. Now, of course, it's unfortunate. What has been, at this time, you cannot do anything about it. You can only express our sorrow and uh, pray for them. Pray for their souls. Mm -hmm. uh, but then, yes, let's come to. Ezafal. <laughs> he is one of the most interesting uh, candidates, candidates. would be candidates, that is, aspiring candidates um, in this election. Right. From the word go, his intention to run have grown so much criticism, controversy, and, you know, debate um, around the country. So. Well, first of all, of course, people wonder whether. He should have stayed with his profession as a lawyer, mm -hmm. and of course, given what he had been doing over the last two years, mm -hmm. he was the leading face and uh, the most prominent member of the commission that was set up to probe yeah. into all the allegations and cases of former president throughout the Gambia regime. regime sure. He did a very good job of that. Along the way, he got extremely famous, but then whether fame can be translated to popularity Towards, oh. <laughs> what he is going to... That's the million dollar question. The biggest test yeah. he is going to face um, in the coming weeks. Well, let's have somebody who, well, he called himself Turn Around and Show Bear <laughs> uh, Campaign. Campaign. He's very serious. He, sounded, he said he's always serious with whatever he's doing. Yeah. Uh, he went around the country, you had him himself recalling and even boasting that they picked NPP in about several towns. Several towns, yeah. Well, that's what he said. About. That's what he said, yeah. yeah. So, he is still confident and he sound that um, he really has become a very attractive commodity, especially he claimed to the use of this country. So. Okay. The other side of him today was he said he felt frustrated <laughs> that um, the NPP did not play the rules by, or the fair rules they call it, because he said, I mean, wherever they went to hire vehicles, wherever they went to hire vehicles, he said they have found that uh, the drivers have other contracts from NPP which pays more money. He called it sabotage, <laughs> whatever that means to him anyway. But then, of course, he he's, he can expect that uh, in politics, well, everybody goes for his or her advantage. So I wouldn't be surprised uh, if that is the case, yes. But then there's nothing you can put on NPP. I mean, they have to play politics. They have to organize themselves. If they have a way of, uh, um, how to call it, you know, doing anything that can really make them look bigger than their opponent, they will do it, as long as it's fair and it's lawful. So nobody can say that uh, offering more money to uh, vehicle drivers is, is unlawful. No, 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 no. You yeah, that, that, that's the question that I put to yeah. uh, their deputy party leader. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they're accusing these people that, yeah. but then this is business. Yes. So you take the best offer. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. That, 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 that's, you, that's, that is not lawful. That's not unlawful. Yeah. So, I mean, yes, he, he might feel frustrated that uh, somebody from NPP or some politics from NPP uh, was in play, you know, by, you know, take, convincing the or persuading the drivers not to take them. Well, that's that's politics. It's not it's not lawful. It's not unlawful. Yeah.
But in his message, he said, I mean, you know, this country needs to be fixed, according to him. He said this country is one of the worst place to do business because of corruption and he's going to fight it. He said he is going to look after the youths. He said he had listened to them and they had all been crying and yearning for change and he represents that change. Now, known actually about whether, uh, and that was not asked, whether he really would be ready or willing to join any alliance or coalition. That would be interesting. Uh, but uh, from the analysis and from the observations, he looks like somebody uh, who wants to put his name in the ballot box. Uh, it, it, uh, seems like it looks like... I put that question to um, Kitabu Fati. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. He's saying that they are, they are not into any negotiations as far as far. Yes, so, well, from the word go, he looks like he wants to put his name in the ballot. Uh, but then, of course... Um, don't be surprised to uh, Buba if along the way, um, you know, Asafal becomes a member of another alliance. Another it's, alliance. It's, it's, yes, uh, you don't rule it out too, uh, because as they go up to near the deadline for withdrawals, you will see a lot of, um, um, I mean, a lot of uh, alliance. alliances. <laughs> and, 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 and make no mistake about it, as we speak now, parties are consulting each other. Only yesterday, if you read the standard today, uh, General Bojang of the ANRD was telling uh, of how he went to State House to meet President Barrow over discussions that he will not yet disclose. But then he said that kind of discussion is going on even between uh, him and other parties have also approached him since the nomination. And, and that is the most interesting thing. Uh, yeah. I have seen in the Gambia uh, uh, independent candidates or political parties opposing the government. You're opposing the government, but you still went and joined the government. You think that the government is not doing anything right? Yeah, well, 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 you know, it is like each one wants to uh, create a name and, you know, claim a territory and then feel recognized and then now I am ready and, and, and now ready and big enough to be considered a stakeholder. So I, I expect to be invited by one or two groups. So you can see somebody who has been very vocal criticizing the government, governing party, will end up being a member of the governing exactly. party's exactly. campaign. Yeah. I, think I mean people are right. Mm. Critics will tell them that they are just looking for jobs, probably they are right. Of course. Most politicians are looking for job. <laughs> Even President <laughs> Barrow and Adam Abba, um, and uh, <laughs> yeah, lawyer Usenu Dabo and Mama Khan, they are looking for job. Okay. They are looking okay. for a job. They wanted the but job. The extent of um, Opposing someone, the yeah. same time supporting the person. I cannot just understand that. They, are, they, are, they said uh, even a week is a long day, in a long time in a, in politics. I mean, they are, of course, it must be said. It's, it's, it's only in politics you can see too many unprincipled, too many contradictions, too many twists and turns. Uh, you know, that's, that, that's, that's, they call it politics. Unfortunately, in this part of the world and many parts of the world, I mean, what should have been the exception has become the rule. Uh, people can lie. They can conspire. Anyhow they lie, they will say it's politics. As if politics is meant to be a game, you know, in which you can lie, you can deceive. That is unfortunate. You see, that was the problem with Doi. You see, I, I, like you said yesterday, Doi didn't want that kind of politics. And that is why they could not record as much electoral success as others who are willing to... To lie, do, to, yeah, to, lie to, to deceive, to or to manipulate, you know, or to coerce, you know. That is why they don't want to go into that politics, that kind of politics. Yes, they are all looking for a job. President Barrow is looking for a job. Uh, lawyer Dabo is looking for a job. Mama Kande is looking for a job. Halifa Salah is looking for a job. And all will claim that they have the best policies and the best plans to uh, execute the functions of that job to the interest of all Gambians. Whether Gambians agree or not will be known with each of them on the 4th December. Interesting. Uh, of course, um, uh, Esafal was the first candidate, of course, to be <coughs> nominated today or to submit his nomination documents. And then uh, he came. It seems like he is totally not happy today. And then he met the cases. But not only. Um, uh, his allegations are not only directed to 
um, the national team is part, but also to um, Java and of course the company. He said that it um, seems like they are refusing to sell fuel. But I think this is a general um, uh, problem in the country because uh, it was very difficult for me. I wake up at 6 a.m. Okay, but it was difficult to get access to this place. Um, someone have to take me for a lift to be here. I think it's a general thing. There is no fuel in the country. But it's accusing. Well, yes, I. It is true that I've had lo those speculations that uh, uh, the fuel. Uh, in fact, it is one one type of fuel, which is diesel. But then, of course, diesel is the most commonly and you know, widely used, um, you know, type of fuel in this country. Uh, yes, there have been talks about that. There have been criticisms and allegations that uh, the shortage is uh, is a deliberate uh, plan by the. Uh, government to sabotage, as, as I would call it, uh, the nomination process of their political opponents. Um, there has not been any evidence as such that because we are investigating, I can, I can tell you even this minute, this minute we are investigating whether it was a deliberate hoarding, uh, you know, of, 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 of diesel by the importers uh, through some machination by government or whether this is just this is a genuine shortage or a genuine business hiccup that leads to this and so it's not clear it is not fair to uh, blame the government until you know exactly what happened but then of course you know we are in political time and don't rule out anything everything can happen you know um, governments will use strong arm tactics you know to uh, you know to elbow the others out or to to marginalize their strength and to frustrate them you know that is, that's common it's common um you know it is yes i is just a newcomer i mean he, if you if he should ask uh, or he should have been in the scene in the in the last 22 years or so he would have known that being in the opposition uh, uh, it's not easy. It's not easy. You, you have yes, you would have understood. He's a newcomer. But, but if he expects that all the rules should be played, uh, you know, to the book, well, he will have to, you know, uh, perhaps swallow more disappointments uh, as, he, as as we grown up to the election time. Yes, but then, yes, there have been speculations that the scarcity of diesel may be a deliberate policy. Uh, you know, a manipulative uh, strategy by the government to frustrate uh, mobilization of opposition. Yes, that has been said. Nobody has ever had any confirmation from it. Uh, the matter has been investigated. I'm sure uh, if, 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 if all stakeholders uh, have spoken, then we would, would know what exactly led to it. Let's talk about the president, um, of course, um, that is Adam Abaro. He forms, uh, of course, um, his party, that is the National People's Party, mm -hmm. uh, one of the biggest political parties, mm -hmm. uh, despite being formed not long ago. Mm -hmm. um, that is the reality. Um, um, he was selected, of course, um, by the United Democratic Party mm -hmm. um, when they formed a uh, uh, coalition in 2016. Mm -hmm. He resigned from the party mm -hmm. um, and, uh, of course, um, stood mm -hmm. as an independent candidate. Mm -hmm. then, um, of course, um, he was selected as the standard PR mm -hmm. of that, that 2016 coalition that involved many political parties. The agreement, according to them, was three years, but then the president opted to go for five years because mm -hmm. he's saying that is the that is the constitution. The constitution mm -hmm. is saying mm -hmm. um, every president should go for five years, and then, with many people say you know, he was right, but others said no, he should have followed the agreement. Mm -hmm. Now here it comes. He felt out with the party that he resigned from, or the party that selected him, that is the United Democratic Party under the leadership of uh, lawyer Usedo Dab. He formed his own political party. Now he campaigns in different parts of the country. And it seems like um, it seems like he is becoming more popular and popular. You've seen the crowd that they are coming with. We've not seen the president yet, but we've seen um, all the members of the party already seated in front of him. But NPP, from um, coming newly, and also coming to be one of the biggest political parties in this country. And NPP people will say the biggest. You said one of them, but they will live. They are the biggest. Well, this comes with incumbency. I mean, um, that is why, in fact, the um, makers, or the drawers, the draftsmen and women who drafted the coalition agreement um, have put it 
in their agreement that the incumbent which that is if their coalition wins the winner if their coalition candidate win that person will not run in the election that immediately follows they want a level playing field and they believe that when somebody has been in office for five years if you want to compete against that person you will find yourself seriously disadvantaged because he had spent five years in office had got new influence had got new uh, connections you know you know what i mean had got um uh, in, uh, advantage of being an incumbent so they believe that such a situation will not amount to leveling of fields that was why the coalition 2016 said they are winner or the winner of their election suppose it's come from their side shall not um, compete in the elections that follows of course we all know that adam barrow uh, had made his intention clear that he is not <laughs> going anyway now <clears throat> the matter about the three years yes that was an agreement they said it adam himself repeated it so many times that he is going to go after three years but then we all saw what happened the party where he came where he came from the party that he himself had always said you know he belonged to even though he resigned from there to be an independent, he made no secret of the fact that he belonged to the UDP. The UDP had more influence in the government than any other group in the coalition. They used to have more, they used to mount more persons. Okay. The leader of that part, um, uh, party, Oseno Dabo, uh, was the first person to suggest that uh, this three years business uh, though is inconsistent with the constitution and therefore should not be a compulsory condition on the president to abide by well that really angered a lot of people who were opposed to um, the, the coalition itself and even some members of the coalition they felt that the udp was hijacking uh, the entire process by reneging on implementing uh, some of the agreements that have been signed, such as three years. Uh, but then, of course, another situation arised. Whereas the UDP was expecting that it has uh, the same, it is, it, is, it, is, it is singing from the same hymn with the president about going just for five years and forgetting about these three years, it appears that uh, Adamo was in fact building another empire different from theirs. So then the UDP were shocked that in fact, now that the man, their man is not even about thinking about three years, he's talking about, well, a lot more time longer than that. Then their supporters become to turn, to twist now and said, ah, okay, we were willing to let go of you for the three years but now you are showing us that you are you want to go on your own and go to for, for that then let's go back to the three years and then they, they lost the moral argument um from the from from you know from the key members and the public they said well you cannot morally now say that and the man can we should stop at three when you are the first people who said he should go for five instead of three so you see i have, I have a, that he said this, uh, in his personal yeah, capacity but he's but it's difficult to differentiate yeah but it's difficult to differentiate what a leader's position is and the position of the party it's always difficult especially when you, when you are the party leader, exactly the Secretary General of exactly yes. so i have always said that the problem between adama and his former udp uh, it's not three years. I, I told. I used to say it. it's not the three years. It is the five years and beyond. If Adam had made it clear that he's not running this time, he would not have any problem with the UDP. No way. He would have been perhaps. He would have been. The, they would have been behind him. Yeah. <laughs> but because he aimed to go further than five years, and you know he's the old guy in the UDP are not entertaining that. I mean, they they, they think that he has come to hold the fort. But he for also, somebody else. He also said that I, I'm a businessman, so. Well, 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 yes, of course. When you come to individual character, where you can blame Adam is that, yes, he, it is, it is on his head. It is incumbent on him as an individual uh, to really maintain his credibility 
by sticking to what he himself promised. Yes. No matter what changed. Yes. You know, I had drawn this uh, comparison. If it was, uh, um, you can say that for them, Halifa Salah. Mm -hmm. Even if Sidi Ajata said, no, 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 we are not going for three years, we are going for five, he would have told Sidi no, 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 no. Yes. That was not out. They are very principled. They are very principled and honest with uh, that kind of thing. That's why I said their politics is different. So you will blame Adama individually for not respecting what he himself had subscribed to. That one is true. But then, of course, you can blame the whole coalition well except doy of inconsistency or contradictions and you know playing politics to get advantage to each other so you know it was Halifa was right that uh, when you have a coalition you have a problem because uh, you cannot project one single party's agenda once you do that the coalition will go and that seemed to have been the case in, uh, in the coalition 2016. But then so much water has passed under the bridge. And like you said, the crown is on Adam's head and it is him who will take blame for not um, respecting that what has been said. No matter who influenced or no matter who uh, actually caused the early confusion or whatever, people will still hold him accountable for being the one who actually failed to uh, uh, abide by the promises. Well, he has advanced, and his supporters have advanced so many reasons for that. Uh, I mean, but you know, breaking away from your parent group is not new in politics. Yeah. We have seen it here in the Gambia. That's right. Sheriff Mustafa Adiba was vice president of uh, uh, the PPP government. Hassan Musa Kamara was vice president of the PPP government. And they also... Well, the example I'm saying, Bibi didn't do that, which is... They stood against their former boss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, <laughs> the, she, she, Serif Diba contested against Jawara mm -hmm. in 1977, uh, in 1982, um, you know, and then also in 1987. Even when he was in prison in 82, he contested 1987, 1992. Um, Hassan Musa Kamara also contested against Jawara in 92. Uh, election. So it is not uncommon to see politicians breaking away from their parent, uh, you know, party to go and, you know, march on their own. It's very, it's very, it's very, it's very common. That's why it's not a surprise that uh, Adama broke away from uh, UDP. It's, it's, it's common everywhere. It's not a surprise. No matter. On, no, no, it's not something new. In, because I told you, you know, in this part of the world, I mean, this is how they take politics. It's, uh, it's the field where you can betray. I mean, you can deceive. Yeah, in fact, Adama himself famously said that. He's still been criticized for that. But, you know, he has a right to break away from his uh, from any organization. That's his right. And to go away and tell others, look, come and follow me, as others have done. That's all, that's all normal and that's all expected <laughs> in what they call politics. What makes this perhaps a little bit more ugly is that um, the circumstances within the party, the UDP, uh, you know, you know, you have uh, most of the leadership incarcerated. Uh, they all felt that, okay, here is our man now. At least he had shed our tears now. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, your man now become your... Who would have expected, Buba, that the, that the biggest, you know, opponents in this election would have been some two people who have almost been father and son to each other? Uh, that's what makes it interesting. interesting. Politics is interesting. Yeah. It, it, it can be painful, it can be stressful, it can be frustrating. But if it is all done by the book and, you know, all in, in realization that we all are one, you know, we cannot be divided. So it is, it is good. I mean, it's a multi-party democracy. All you need is to be tolerant. Yeah. Tolerance is what is needed. Once you have that on all sides, then your democracy flourishes. That is what was lacking 22 years ago. One man was, 27 years ago or so, one man was occupying the public space. Nobody will come into the public space without encountering imprisonment. In some cases, threats to your life, your liberty and freedom. That's right. That is what was happening. Now that that has passed, you can expect every Tom, Harry and Dick to come to politics, as we have seen <laughs> with the pretenders, uh, you know, in the list of the IEC for these coming elections. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think it will not be long whether we will see the nomination process for Adama. Yeah.
Um, yeah, exactly. So he has already arrived. Um, that is the president that you are seeing. Uh, I think um, he will. His vehicle will be allowed to enter inside. Um, we all know that only 250 people are will be allowed to enter uh, inside the IEC premises already. Um, some people are already inside, and the president is coming with a huge crowd, as you can see on your um, cameras. And then we will show everything on Kerfaru. But then all saying, Bangkok president or the party or the nomination or what is it? Or what is it? I told the IEC la wala sida al nya batila tenting abala bulo wulinde kan santo ala supporta le mialonko ani wolle natana nsa fale ko min muto nyaati min lota ani min denke nyaata wala min ndiko ani mo jamal le natana al nya be molla mialonko mantra dandula fango jeno kan andu molbe siare mbakele mol mialonko ani wolle nata pour ka je ko isa dandang ay na isa nominate ay bayri atelem nyaaton koti ne parti o mialon ko ay wolon de fang min kere national people's party de jamal ka kuma di npp ale mol jele mialon ko be bulo wulinde kan banko president way santola andu wade fanam ba bulo wulinde kan ne dol bi jele mialon ko ye banal le mutay bulu santo ya kije NPP ya safe dol bije al nyaba la gambia flago ya wole wuli ndi santo dol bije le miyalonko banal be mule miyalonko banko president wala natalo le bije aning NPP la nyatonko atela natalo le bije andi ba wuli ndi kan santo le nga dol bije le miyalonko miyalonko yitol be tamakan ne kananang dol bije le miyalonko yi bela mutol kono le dol bije miyalonko yi selta mutol santo le nga wobeje jande miyalonko banko president wani mulu miyalonko wale binakam Ada faham beloring, aman terus siring, anda ngabe loring moto, ala 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 moto kan ne, science science tenting, akar bulu gulindi, baris science tenting, awa bulu awa bulu awa bulu jendele, aman ter aman ter bulu aman ter bulu gulik gulindi kang, nyin tembena, nji kita leko, eba eba jela leko, ay dunang polisol be daming bayring baria le bije, buka mobe ala pure dun konoro, for nathar ella party leader nyin tata, fa 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 parida, nji kita ibe wole arrange menol leke kang, pura si dunno nyameng, akole ata bulu ba kaya be kole ala Buru purkaji motor kono barang jek kita security kendo betar lagi le member makoi nola pura si ji motor kono nyameng muka i kau kungen neka di jis nono mua neka ji tiri omi neku nir kau ham nede fano busi politics mua neka di ekiti loham busi kau si supporter siok ham nene nyonyo le andal supporter siok ham nene nyonyo kau kungen si purmuneo purmuneo ya johe nomination paper mi of course visi IC muneng jana wah nedal confirm landen le Tapi crowd beri lola andal. Nunggu hall crowd bini. Hamu ni fala em kom nolen kau nak dijis. Si natal bini. Nafah melni. Mom tamat bokan nasi political party yang hamne. Anda neng ag huge crowd. Fizi IEC. Jisun neng. Of course am GDC ag APR Senoto Alliance. Jisun neng UDP. Jisun neng. Yenen order political party. Jisun neng ASAFAL Tesi Suba. Wai mom tamat nafah melni. Anda na ag crowd bo hamne. Crowd bo takula. Crowd bo hamne. Mununyo sah. Wah ne, ni ti faleng em kom nolen kau nak dijis eh, sin natale, kon neka na ni ko ham ne, tay besi NPP la, tay la best bo ham ne, nyu paris sen domi NPP, nyu kodon har, pur nyu magal ko, pur nyu one president bine amga support, nyu sa ganau, limo neka dihew visi independent electoral commission, fufulen neka ni IC, ham gan ne IC, nyu nyu yore walum election bi. Aye Gambia fini. Election nak dua muna tahun nunu fika nominate tunjala. Dengai nyu, ngau wane sakaiti, ngau wane niti nyu dua miri honga, ngau wane nyu am at least grade twelve certificate, ngau wane guy nyu tamet am ngau thirty years above, ngau wane guy nyu tamet yangi togon Gambia fi for the first for the for 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 the past five years. Loli yebu warga ko wane. Of course tamet ngau wane agienen fana yu kamne. Of course am IC nengla ko lache. Since am nomination be start bete nyungle na isil everything at every Aspek buat hamne, mungkin healthy nomination ni. Kon lor mohon nak di healthy. Tapi lain di, gen gen di follow kerfado. Kom numan kon wahai sangkarek. Nenjan won everything. Kom numan kon nak di wane niti ni. Nenjan won presiden ni. Sutu agi bemu jakarlo ak independent electoral commission. IC alim mamar jai. Tapi sutu sutu agi bemu numo duge. Sibir premises bin nenjan kon won. Wah su face journalist itamet. Question and answer session bin nenjan won everything lor hamne presiden ni. Nako 
of course am na ko def fi ni bala be bala mu ngi joge fi xam ngeen ne tay tamet national people's party npp ñu ngi am 50000 gi men rally bo xamne ñu ko wara def ci buva zone bi lolu yeb sobe yalla nañ ko jalale ker fatu pour ñu won len everything lo xamne mu ngi xew musibe amen chal million kala ngondo ndarde rek ko ker fatu ngonda ndarde hande non ha hande minen non independent electoral commission onon jiya yimbe onon jiya kafu ko hore be ngimori ko be president ngon garde dum woni national people's party Party. National People's Party non jebe be dum gandide NPP ko en o president o ko on darni o party party mo gandantuma o darni no bawo seeda bila o yakondire United Democratic Party party o non o woni party mo gandantuma joni ko party mawdo on ji himbe be ardi be fayda min bawa hal ko hoto himbe be poti kono ko hede bagnul be gimori be gara hede IEC ko ko dum woni ko no min kolla non kala ko gandantuma fof di do hande min ko la don hono president on natirra der premises e duma ni ay ay sito hono jodoto hono okita kayti mako di so immi ma don hono haldirta e journalisti ji gondi di do min ko la don dum fof si allah jabi e do e kerfado ko continue dar gor rek ano gandi hande na be kebi rally rally mo gandan tuma ko rally mawdo te on rally non to do be badata o rally ko dum woni of course am buva zone hande be bi yimbe uju naaje chapande jo gandan tuma ko rewbe ko rally be be matta organize rally mo gandan ay mara do buva zone ker fadu holla don fof kala ko woni yaade nono min kolliri ni political party ji goddi di min kollira nonon kala ko woni yaade fof do e national e people's party e president on non na wayno joni e o jipima e moto makoy be malli o ha mo ara mako njiton moni e ya president on saying a jita la moto kanne de abe tama kanne andum ala makso dum aba anin anin modol be diamu kan akam dale ko fo siaka len fo juma len ana be diamu kanne anun akam dale ko ala haftano e national people's party la kola ay wala dum al nyaba ala haftano la wala nyaama andu ay face makso dum ala security ba koma al nyaba ala wala nyaama abi ta kan to wors aic fo ngola bunda la proce dum no nyaame na fure de je protocole iba be tandi lalale al nyaba te la wala nyaama aba bulo wul ndi kan santo anu fa ay kala ke fak ndigira ni mukalal ti nyalon ko national people's party la kala di ay nafo dum nyalon ko nafo koy malam abe dum gang a furata ala supportal be wuri kan ne ka tendala ko be koma bi be koma sama bari be koma sininding al nyaba tel kan tending abe dukan aic la bundal to tending andon kabo kiba talal kata fo la security li kata fo ala supportal nyalon ko ani wolle nata ani wolle be dunkan jigital ko modol bi jele nyalon ko ite ala wala pure dum bayrin party o party i bota muntole fo i bota na muntole mari mo kebe fula mo tan lulu da malaka dum aic la premises kono wodo banko president o duntale nyin tambe na abe tamaka ne pour kaje ko sala sire ngota no nyabe ani aic la nyaton ko min keda alaj mo bar nyati pour sa nyati li ñol asa ñinin ka ila kayto le la banko di ya kayto ila be 12 kayto le amin ko lu ñaal non koy ka wala ñinin ka pour ka djeko min sa sabati ndi ko dendi no ko ida mu gambia di ngolti ñim be mu ko leti ñaal non ko bi be banko pesa ko ñinin ka la wala bari ate fana be ñin kayto lu provide la le ñaal non ko of course am iba ñinin ka la wala wo ko la e bina anin kiba talal be kacha soto la be ñim be finti ndi la le janne adi mol mi alon ko ani wolle nata sa fale ko nyin tembenna police wol be lori na bari ka dam wolto e be lori wolto nyin tembenna bari nata ra president o apareta e ba dundila le ndikita le ko be du lal yella le pour ka djo ko to france finti sala tembo tandi mi alon ko ni wolle nata bi ko nga fale nyamen do nga ka fo nyin jibe le fo nya dandula bari malon adanta mun tole ka bo motolo ka da fo molu mi alon ko wolle be tamakan ka da fo molu mi alon ko banderol be wolle bulu ka da fo molu mi lonko wala be den kilo lakan kata fo molu miya lonko e ko banko president o jareti en ne nyil be mo molleti miya lonko eni banko president o natale bi dol npp kolal npp tisatol banko president o la natalol akam tale ko ye wala dum an e president o dandan nan ka fay ko be koma bi be koma sama be koma sininding woto wala ko ti miya lonko be kering aic jang al nyaba la wala nyaama tending ndigitale ko banko president o sayng ala sire ngo tale pour ka djeko don asi anin ay sila chama no se nyatri no nyola nyamen 
pour kaje ko dong asa la kaytol mi yalon ko nyanta wala dilam ate ic la asa 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 dino nyame ila chiamano la nyanta nyinin kala fa ngo fenna pour isa nyinin kala asa asa dino nyame bi dum ani ki ba tala le na france nyati li nyola ka itandi munem kolti mi yalon ko banko president ngoy wala soro gambia e abe mune ke no la gambia e natra yari elek ali yalon ko nyi manke npp masakunda de ko le sono le atambe ndi wala ke president ngodi bari ba nyinin kala nati nata as npp mansa kunda natalem npp la mansodi abe mune keno la gambia dingole ndikita ko kiba talal be nyin kek sono nyinin kalal de anum fanan challenge rele pour ila asset sol miyalon ko lebi jam pour momobe pesa ya nyinin kam pour sa itandi mol la mum fenni fenne fenne ba be bulu pour ka ndikita le ko mol ba nyinin kala fare fanan be asset declaration of faba kala le bang e kol miyalon ko dal min ba bulu ko do min ba bulu ka itandi gambia bela ko nyinde be mbulu pour natal